so we took this assignment yesterday from how we missed sharing in the morning we shared late at night but the assignment is almost the same we are presently practicing step one of exercise one where we are trying to observe the imagination as it is in particular we are trying to observe the feeling part in the imagination so exercise one is basically observing the self by the self there are three exercises that we mentioned to understand the whole existence as it is one is observing the self by the self second is observing the material by the self and third is observing the coexistence by the self now we are not going to do exercise three here because it needs some preparation so we are going to do exercises one and two and in exercises exercise one when the self is observing the self that i am observing myself we are doing it stepwise and in step one we are trying to observe the imagination as it is so we have spent quite some time elaborating on the fineness of this step and also the problem that we generally face while going through the step so when i go to observe the imagination as it is maybe i'm not able to observe the complete imagination in one go so we start by observing the object of imagination then with every object of imagination we try to see the thought associated we try to see the feeling associated but ultimately i have to see the whole imagination as it is and why we are doing this basically we want happiness to be our innate nature and not add some external influence now to ensure happiness is our innate nature i need to awaken to the higher activities of contemplation understanding and realization and for that i have to transform myself i have to transform at the level of feeling unless i am aware of my feeling at this moment how do i evaluate it how do i transform it so the basic task is to observe my feeling as it is and then transform it with evaluation so we'll doing we'll be doing it step by step and in this step we are just trying to observe the imagination as it is without evaluating it without reacting to it without trying to change it modify it without trying to impose anything we are just letting it unfold i am letting myself unfold i am letting myself be clear to myself isn't it i am just trying to observe my present state so when we go to observe mostly since we work at the level of thought or expectation we might start from there but gradually i have to move to a state where i can be very clear of my feeling at this point of time isn't it it does take some time for each one of us we we'll see that when you are into the session then your observation becomes more sharp but when you are engaged in your household chores or your official work or something then the observation may not be so sharp generally then we are observing things outside observing things at the react it develops some reaction or response in our interactions or with something which is happening at the level of body or physical facility seldom are we aware of the imagination inside me so this kind of sharpness this kind of subtlety in the observation has to be developed and this is what we are working for with that in view we were discussing various problem that we face while observing the imagination if you have anything to share anything to ask so let me just go through the assignment that we took yesterday and then we'll take up the sharing so at any time convenient to you in any body posture which is convenient and comfortable for you observe your imagination particularly the feeling in the imagination for about half an hour observe it as it is without trying to judge it evaluate it stop it or change it just observe without any sort of reaction now you'll see that we are so used to reacting we are so used to judging we are so used to fixing things from our side or rejecting if something is not fine according to us that we are not able to observe most of the time our feeling naturally we are trying to enforce certain things we are trying to fix up some targets like in this much of time i should be able to observe this much 
whatever. So that natural observation of the feeling many times remains due. That's why we have been spending some time trying to observe the feeling as it is naturally. Okay, and you'll see that in this whole process, your natural self starts appearing. It starts emerging, which may be latent, which may be hidden to you. Isn't it? Most of the time we are going by our conditionings. So that's why this is being reiterated, that observe it as it is without reacting, without judging, without stopping, without changing, without trying to modify, whatever. Try to observe the imagination going on in you. Even when you are in the midst of any activity, when interacting with others, etc., try to notice how we keep evaluating others, passing judgment on others, etc. Within while being silent at the while being silent on the outside. Yeah. So this, this is what we have been trying to do. <clears throat> it so happens you now that uh, the text that is written here sometimes gets hidden by the hand raised. So I have to rotate it time and again to see what actually is written. So what we'll do now, simply no reflection as such, we'll observe for five to ten minutes. So let us observe for some time today, maybe ten minutes, and try to do it as it is. Okay. Um, bhai, I want to ask you that uh, in these days, whenever I was doing the exercise, <clears throat> then I feel that uh, imagine and observation both are not taking place simultaneously. That means whenever, uh, whenever I I'm, I sit in a place and I want to um, say observe my imagination, then uh, first of all, for some time there is I feel that there is no thought. Uh, but after after some time, I felt that oh, I have been imagining uh, imagining these these things, and then I can only take the right um, feeling uh, from these observations. But Imagination and observation at the same time, uh, for me, something, it becomes difficult. Yeah. yeah, this is also a common sharing that when I go to observe, I don't find any imagination or any feeling. So here I'll say that since we are used to do things little forcefully or we are used to look at things outside. So... In the beginning, it may appear like this. So just let it be. Just be clear that you have to observe. And then we'll see that with some passage of time, it becomes very clear to you. So it's only a matter of some time to be spent while observing. So in the beginning, it may appear like this. But if you keep on observing, you are able to see very naturally. In fact, we'll see that when you get up in the morning, right? So you'll see some imagination going on. And very clearly, you can see your imagination, your feeling. Because at that point of time, you do not have to take care of the body to the extent that we do generally in our day-to-day -day routine. You do not have anything to do outside also. You have just to observe. So when you are just going to get up or when you are going to sleep, if you try to observe, you, know, you see that it's far more simple to observe. And the same thing happened during the day also. So just try to do this to it you know, it may take some time but it's not very difficult okay so at, at any moment of time if and if i in university then also after some time i feel oh i have been imagining these things that that alertness has come i think that is good for me but both are not taking place that that is the problems yeah yeah so let it be the way we are saying no don't fix any target like this that that, that should happen like this or this should happen at this point of time. No, just let it be. Just observe the way you are. Maybe you are able to see that, okay, I'm not imagining at this point of time. So whenever I imagine, I'll observe it. Though you have been imagining, so you have some feeling, but you are not able to observe it clearly. We also took some examples. We try to conclude how the feeling has been there. So whenever you feel that you do not have anything going on inside, then try to find out is there any object to which you are paying attention? Maybe the object is the self at that point of time. You are trying to pay attention to the self. 
right? So why are you are trying to pay attention to the self? What is the feeling there? You are trying to know the self. You are trying to know yourself. So mm -hmm. there is some feeling when you are trying to know yourself. That is also a feeling. Try to make it out. Mm -hmm. so, no, I I yeah. can feel here yeah, that I uh, whenever I uh, imagine I I want to uh, search the <coughs> feeling, then I feel that yes, um, that, that is a feeling of responsibility. Say feeling of love and care about the <clears throat> works which is associated maybe household or the professional. So uh, something responsibilities work and also some caring uh, guidance also to students. And then also I feel that uh, in some moment there is some opposition also uh, for something uh, happened and that, that I can feel, but after some time. Nice, nice. See, if you are able to observe this much, then gradually as it becomes more subtle, you can observe it every moment. Why not? Yes, yes, Bhaiya. Okay, Bhaiya, thank you. Yesterday I sat for my uh, imagination and the object of imagination. And first thought came to my mind that there is nothing in my thought and imagination. So I thought that it itself it is also a thought. So with that, I um, proceeded with the steps. So is that correct? Can I yes like that yeah when you're trying to see something and you are saying that there is no thought then you are still thinking about what i am thinking that is also yeah, a thought yeah. yes okay, okay. Basically, okay. Know certain things which are there you know but we do not count it that is also huh. common issue we feel that i have to observe something very specific you know you have to just yes. observe what you are doing. Even when you decide to observe inside, that is also a thought and there is some feeling associated with it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Bhaiya, uh, I could notice that while my observation is going on, uh, thoughts are shifting. And anyway, the feelings I could not possible to read it at all the time but sometimes i could notice it this is my observation and my question is bhaiya that's how to observe coexistence while we are <laughs> in the observation wait 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 it will take some time first observe the activities in the self then we'll observe the sensation from body to the self then we'll try to observe the position of self and body and then go further. So that is the process. So let us not jump. Okay, okay, okay Bhaiya. Thank you, Bhaiya. Thank you very much. Uh, but one more thing, Bhaiya, that's uh, while I am observing, that's evening time, uh, usually the time of uh, maybe from 7 to 7.30 or maybe uh, during that period. There is, uh, while observation, there is a something I feel sleepy. Uh, is it we the naturally what it is happening, or maybe the day tiredness is leading to that? Yes. So the body gets tired during the day, and when you try to observe, no, you feel very relaxed. You feel basically if you have to relax your body. So don't tax your body. Most of the time. We are taxing our brain too much. Now, when you go to observe in a very natural manner, so your brain gets relaxed. When your brain gets relaxed, you feel sleepy. That does happen. Yeah, but yeah, you told something brain gets. Can you clarify it, Bhaiya? Yeah, we, we are not utilizing the brain to the extent that we utilize during the day. And sometimes we utilize much more than what is required. Now, when you go to observe, we are not taxing our body. We are not taxing the brain also. Okay, so it starts taking rest and you feel sleepy, you start dozing. Yes, that does yes, happen please. to begin with. Yes, okay, thank you. you come from the office and sit in a quiet place and yeah. try to observe it, try to observe your feeling, your imagination. You feel like you know, just dozing off and even going to sleep. That will happen. Yes, yes, very.
most of the time we are thinking something very forcefully we are you know, trying to articulate things analyze things you know, very forcefully but when i go to observe myself very naturally that force that i was exerting within which was also resulting in some force being exerted on the body on the brain and that also gets down so the body starts taking rest isn't it yes bhai yes bhai and one more thing bhai what i want uh, notice is the thoughts are less uh, there is no nothing like a, a large number of thoughts mixing up is not there but that is clear that thoughts are less but anyway sometimes they are shifting that is what i observed bhai fine just observe it just observe yes bhai yes sometimes they appear less sometimes there will be so much of turmoil inside sometimes they will be very random sometimes somewhat you know, aligned all those things would be there just observe and get to the feeling so we'll do this assignment for let's say 10 minutes let us observe it with some more subtlety if you are doing something then we can pause it for some time and just be in some place sit quietly and observe observe the feeling that i have at this moment i think the discussion that we had we have been gradually progressing towards observing the feeling so in place of just observing the thought observe the feeling but still if you are not able to observe the feeling directly you can start by observing the object of imagination then the thought associated with it and then the feeling associated with it but gradually we have to go to the feeling part so we'll do this for 10 minutes and then we'll discuss further
nice. Dinanaji is saying, do we need a particular posture to observe? No. Choose any posture in which you can observe. That's all. It's up to you. Uh, today, when you told that observe, I closed my eyes. Uh, in the morning, I was thinking about uh, uh, one uh, lychee tree in, my, in front of my house in the village. Uh, previous time, uh, I didn't allow any boa to come inside and uh, I was uh, sitting with a stick. When I get up in the morning, it is just uh, in front of me, the lychee uh, uh, is there. So I didn't allow any boa, even the small, small children, they was standing outside. I didn't uh, give them even a single piece of uh, uh, lychee to them. This time when I uh, 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 closing my eye, I observed that, oh, I should give them. Uh, when I will go this time, I will must give them. And yeah, after that, I feel so much good, so much good that uh, there is uh, uh, excellent feeling in my heart and I imagine that uh, the children, when I will give them the lychee, how happy they will be. Uh, just I was thinking about that. And uh, the, 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 the feeling that is inside me, is still I cannot explain you. Thank you for giving me this guideline for uh, observation. And... Uh, Thank you very much, Bhaiya. Nice, Bhaiya. Uh, but I suggest that it's good that you observed this particular thing. But there has been imagination continuing in you. So you can go even further. So this is one good observation that you shared. But the imagination is still there. Now what is the object of imagination? What is the feeling associated with that object of imagination? Keep on observing. Keep on observing. Let it continue. Please, please, Bhaiya, explain it again, please. I am saying it's nice that you shared this particular Ji. object of imagination and the feeling associated with it. Ji. But the imagination has not stopped. It is still continuing. So you have yeah. to keep on observing the object of imagination and keep on observing the feeling, the imagination. So like like yeah, that lychee tree <clears throat> is just one object of imagination. After the lychee tree, you started thinking about the children who used to come to your house. Then maybe after you paid attention to children, something else became your object of imagination and so on. And still continuing. Something or the other is there in your imagination. So you have to keep on observing it. In place now of limiting... I, I, I am understanding gradually uh, uh, how uh, you guide us to proceed in the direction of imagination. Thank you, Vaya. Thank you. Thank you. Nice, Vaya. Just uh, what is happening in me, uh, like for many days, uh, the feeling was like that, though initially, uh, who already this morning explained the way uh, when I uh, use, I attempt to witness, see the object of uh, this imagination, then uh, two simultaneously was not happening, witnessing as well as the imagination going on. Because uh, one or other, whenever I was used to see this, that, then immediately that thoughts and it go away. But last one, uh, one day, one and two days, I am able to see uh, this uh, imagination that is happening already. But uh, I am unable to segregate uh, the, the whatever the object I want, I see, uh, object and this feeling, how to segregate, what, how to uh, that identify the feeling part of this. That uh, is not, uh, some, somehow I am able to segregate it. 
fine so just observe let me give some examples for example your attention is there on your spouse and how do you feel then your attention goes to your mother in law how do you feel your attention goes to your child how do you feel your attention goes to your friend how do you feel your attention goes to your subordinate how do you feel just keep on observing so with every object of imagination i have some feeling will not judge okay. it will not okay. label it for the moment but there is some feeling isn't it okay. the moment okay. you think about your wife there is some feeling there uh-huh. based on the events that took place yesterday based on the conversation that you had then you have some feeling so feeling will be different for different objects is not it yes 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 at different points okay. of time also okay 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 um bhaiya yeah, uh, since the time you have asked us to observe i, I have been observing and uh, i realized that uh, recently i have a concern that uh, i was thinking uh, about uh, two very close relations they are hurting each other and i am feeling compassionate about them like why they are not understanding uh, the feelings of each other and why they are continuously hurting each other and i am helpless i have to just watch it uh, watch them doing this and i was thinking of how to frame this question and put in front of you and um to get the help or at least my role what is my role uh, in this situation i would like to know and uh, but then while i was thinking that that pain uh, reduced because i could see that i am the observer here uh, and at least i could make a decision that somehow i will contribute positively uh in this situation and uh, i could see that i have a feeling of a relationship for uh, both of them there are several such situations that um two close relations are hurting each other so and that yeah. was so what i could observe the situation is to complement them in terms of developing the right and standing right feelings right but then uh, we are uh people do not accept na when we are trying to do so they feel that uh, who are you to uh, interfere or uh, we understand or uh, like that uh, there is a feeling there in some close relations uh, you cannot uh, interfere in some of them uh, but in one of the uh, situations of this sort i could remain silent i was observing that i was the witness i remained silent uh in by previously when such situations would happen there was a feeling of opposition for both of them in my in that would go in my mind but this time i realized that just because there is lack of understanding they are behaving like that and uh, the next day i could be normal that was one thing but then in some another situation i am feeling concerned like how would i interfere or how would i uh, take initiative to ensure the right understanding so this is so, what was good <laughs> yes bhaiya fine so first of all trace the feeling that you have so at this yes. point of time as you are sharing you have the feeling of relationship for them you are feeling concerned mm-hmm. for them now with yes. that concern i can enter into a process of dialogue and share with the other and then help the other understand if the other is not ready to accept at this point of time then i'll give the other some more time mm. to be able to listen to you or i'll talk mm. about some mechanism so that the mm. right proposal can reach the other maybe he or she is not ready to listen from you but can mm. listen from somebody else mm. not listen at this point of time but sometime later that is quite possible Hmm. Right. And let me also say that you are feeling concerned about these two people, but hmm. the other relatives of yours who appear hmm. to be going on well are hmm. still not having the right understanding, right feeling. Yes. So when yeah. I begin to 
see very clearly that relationship is going to be harmonious only with right understanding right feeling right. and this is one typical situation mm. so i not feel concerned only at this point of time i will feel concerned every moment of mm. time even right. though some people are doing well right mm. Mm. but they are not having right understanding so tomorrow they may enter into some conflict situation yes that is quite possible right. so proactively i can see my role in every relationship right so uh, actually uh, that is one good thing is that i am ready to take the responsibility in any of the this kind of situations uh, only sometimes i am not allowed in some of the situations i am not allowed to interfere that's it and uh, i i have a fear that if i try to interfere to solve it it should or i mean to resolve it uh, it should not get worsen is what concerning see the sustainable solution for all these issues is that to start working for developing the right understanding right feeling in our extended relationships mm. proactively without waiting mm. for any problem to arise isn't it mm. to organize workshop mm. by yourself mm. sit with them mm. and mm. then discuss so those of them who have some right sanskar mm. they start paying attention to you and they will develop an atmosphere in your relations so that people become serious for this mm -hmm. gradually see that now when you are into this program and you are trying to transform yourself seriously mm -hmm. now people will to accept it and whenever they meet you they will talk about these things only how are you doing how is your transformation mm -hmm. going how is your program mm -hmm. going on and so on you right, become right. now the yeah now the epicenter of all those changes in your relationships maybe right now it may not seem really realistic but over the period of time if i sustain and continue to uh, in in my process of transformation maybe it will also be realized in the extended family as you say yes but you have to make a program for it hmm you have to make a program to deliberately go and meet the people at home also wherever such situations are there i have to uh, keep discussing uh, i suppose yes, right yes. so when we do holiday or some holidays are there together it is summer vacation time hmm. you can just plan that for three days i am going to be with the children their parents hmm. right and hmm. we are going to organize hmm. a workshop so hmm. we'll discuss together cook together you know stay together and discuss hmm. all this Mm -hmm. make it a very active program not very passively that yes some, when somebody invites me then i'll go there and discuss yeah so we we'll make it very actively yeah right right so we can go to the problem that we were discussing yesterday and then we'll go to that next slide ji yeah. so this is something that we had discussed so when i go to observe and we are doing this even now we try to observe in the past 10 minutes so when i try to observe my imagination i get a headache or sometimes i feel sleepy now this is one question that came up also why is that if you are trying to force yourself to observe your imagination you feel heaviness because basically you are reacting further if you are getting headaches this is likely to be because of the fact that you are trying to see your imagination through eyes as per the past condition this is one possibility and you are trying to focus your eyes in order to see and that is causing headache on the other hand when you are not finding the imagination to be important that is do not leading to happiness you may lose track of your focus and even drift into sleep so what you need to do is first of all to take the decision to be aware and to observe so just observe no forcing and no and if attention gets drifted then no reaction and do not try to use your eyes to see your imagination not required at all just be aware every moment if you lose awareness just notice and then get back to awareness without any reaction nice this is something that we discussed when you say the imagination goes elsewhere where does it go you said imagination is there all the time so what do you mean when you say get back get back from where 
so two different things are going on inside you imagination that is going on in you continuously in the b2 block and observation of this imagination and this is something that we are trying to have from the b1 block so the effort is to see from b1 block in place of just uh, moving round and round in the imagination we are trying to see from the b1 block as a pure observer so when you temporarily stop observing from b1 you lose awareness that is when you feel that your imagination is not going on for example your imagination is like a flowing stream of thoughts or desires when you are observing this imagination as it's standing by the side of the stream you are clearly able to see observing from b1 but when you jump into the stream and start flowing with the imagination you are no longer able to observe it clearly sometimes you may not observe anything so just as a pure observer i have to observe this is me okay i am the observer i am observing myself <coughs> and whatever is happening is there inside me so just as if you are observing the stream from its bank without stepping into the stream things are coming and going thoughts are coming and going feelings are emerging and then going this way you can observe gently it does take time in fact when you are able to observe so sharply from block b1 then by that time block b1 has also awakened to some extent that's how you are able to observe with this subtlety so it may happen that you are not able to do it with this accomplishment right now but this is the whole effort what is it is what it is meant for so essentially i have to awaken to block b1 so the more i try to observe it like this as a pure observer block b1 also gets awakened gradually at times when i am trying to see my imagination i see it for some time and then it is as if it's blank there is nothing there so as i stated earlier imagination is going on in the b2 block while the observation is from the b1 block if b1 is not fully activated and you are thinking about the observation from b1 it may appear as if there is nothing no imagination this is one possibility another possibility is that when you are observing your imagination you find that there is something in your imagination that is disturbing to you making you uncomfortable within and without awareness you stop that particular imagination and might go blank for that moment next moment the work of imagination will again start but for now just observe the imagination without evaluating without any reaction without changing or stopping it without trying to fix anything in your imagination without fixing any target just let it unravel just let it unfold for yourself you are there imagination is there feeling is there right you have to observe and let it come up just as it is sometimes feeling very bad sometimes feeling very good sometimes feeling restless sometimes feeling anxious sometimes feeling very relaxed just just let it be you let your natural self emerge just let it be so as a conclusion in step 1 i am observing my imagination at this moment i am observing my desire that is feeling thought and expectation at this moment in particular i am trying to observe my feeling my desire so observe your feeling going on at this moment of time just as it is without evaluating without reacting without trying to stop without trying to change if your imagination gets drifted elsewhere without yourself being aware no need to get upset just know that you have drifted and continue to observe without forcibly trying to get the thoughts back to where you had let off mention the decision to observe your imagination if attention comes back observe what is going on in your imagination currently without any reaction so i think we have said it all now it's all up to us to do it to keep on continuing with it so in step 1 we are doing this much now there is some assignment also with step 1 which we have been sharing in bits and pieces so the assignment is that try to do this observation of your imagination every moment all the time 
so for how long does your attention stay on your imagination try to articulate when you were observing for 10 minutes in those 10 minutes for how much time you could observe and one doable thing here is to spare at least 15 minutes every 4 hours during the day so like you go to the college or you go to your workplace or you are at home now every 4 hours make out that some alarm has got set in you and you can even set your alarm accordingly after every 4 hours i have to be with myself right and just observe during the day if you keep on doing this multiple times in a day in a very programmed manner so that i have to do this i have to observe then you get somewhat attuned to this self observation without observing within you cannot respond or react outside you try to observe within without saying it before saying anything before doing anything before chalking out any program before interacting we start observing inside so going inside first and then outside never going outside first now this can be your program so it may be the case that block b1 has not awakened but this kind of definiteness can come in your whole attitude your whole program that i first go inside and then outside every time whenever i have to say something i look within try to make out my feeling and then utter some words if i have to do something in the for the body i look within make out the feeling and then do something for the body and you can start questioning you know every time what has been my feeling when i taking bath what has been my feeling when i am talking to my spouse what has been my feeling when i am talking to somebody in the college what has been my feeling when i greeted people in the morning what has been my feeling when i come home what is my feeling right so two things me and my feeling <laughs> I have to be aware all the time so this way we can be more and more subtle in our observation more and more regular in our observation does your imagination stay on one topic or does it keep shifting from one topic to another if your attention goes somewhere else <clears throat> where does it go what do you do what do you pay attention to do you decide the object of your attention yourself with awareness or does it seem to be happening without awareness by itself this is something that we had shared in our assignment also so is it happening without your awareness or is it happening with awareness when you say by itself it means without awareness because you are the decision maker that is something we'll try to make out later so is it happening with awareness or without awareness try and observe the desire the feeling the thought and expectation separately in your imagination now this is something that many of us are not able to do at this point of time so it is quite doable so make out the feeling also make out the thought and make out the expectation in your imagination and expectation means the selecting and testing so you'll see that whenever you have some feeling you're also testing that feeling feeling uncomfortable or comfortable if the feeling is favorable you feel one way if the feeling is unfavorable you feel it some other way so whenever you observe some feeling you also test that feeling Though we are not calling it as expectation at times, I and mean, we are feeling that it is something very different. But since it is there in you, so just try to make out: Am I also testing my feeling while observing the feeling? When I am looking at any object of, of imagination within, and I have done some selection, so I have been selecting the object of imagination. I have been testing the feeling with that object of imagination. So of course the expectation is there, and. whenever i pay attention to some object of imagination it gradually gets exploded into multiple parts i analyze it you know just as you see the exploded view so it gets exploded into multiple parts we analyze it right and then we also compare various options so that is also going on inside me that is my thought and the feeling is there at the core so you can make it out only that you have to be more clear of what these words mean 
So note down your observations in your journal several times in the course of the day, say at least every four hours. Now, let us say that we can decide this for ourselves. So maybe from tomorrow I'm going to ask. So did we do something to keep observing every four hours? Did we decide something for that? Maybe we can set some alarm. Maybe we can note down somewhere that yes, it is not time to observe. <laughs> As we have time to take breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, tea. Now, similarly, we have to fix our routine. And I'll say that let us make it as a kind of project for ourselves. So those of us who have joined for the first time in batch 10 can take it as a project for four months where they are going to conduct research upon themselves, a thorough research. And for that, they have to spare time. Can I give? Uh, Bhaiya, the one, two clarification. One is earlier I was thinking the thoughts when we observe in our imagination are random. And uh, I was not able to make links, but now I have been able to link them. So now I'm getting confusion whether I am giving meaning to it or there may be a link, the one thing. The second thing is few things I have been able to uh, jot down in journal. So uh, the, the pattern that I see, I don't know whether again, I'm giving this to a meaning or this can happen in the process. So um, some of the imagination, which I lived in a sense, which I went with the flow and I did not observe that I was observing. Uh, and then later I observed and I wrote. So these thoughts has come again, uh, but some we, which I just observed, okay, this is the thought, have not come again, like in the, during the imagination for say for last two months like that. So is it that I'm giving a meaning or I miss on those? Like this are the uh, clarification I wanted to seek here. Yeah, so essentially the meaning is always given by yourself only. So And some meaning is always associated with the object of imagination, right? But presently we are not uh, looking into the meaning part here. We are not trying to see how we are evaluating or judging things. But the meaning is always given by the self only. But this is something that we can keep open and observe. Okay. But uh, I'll say to some extent the question was not very clear. So how this meaning is somewhat uh, this hampering your observation? I'm not getting this. So so for example, um, uh, thinking of um, me doing a. Uh, a thought came like I'm writing a very good article, for example. And then I went with the flow. I'm writing. This will help me, blah, 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 blah. It's a good feeling with when that. So so if these kind of I went with the flow and later on, so like as somebody was saying that first you see the imagination and then later you observe. So this was happening. So suppose in this case, then I um, in journal, I noticed that some of these feeling where there was a first imagination and then observation, these thoughts keeps coming again and again in the imagination. But some of the feelings nice. which I wrote. Hmm. Nice, nice. So just keep on observing and noting them down. We can discuss okay. it elaborately tomorrow if needed. Okay. 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 So, it is done now, so I'll conclude for now. And then you can come up with this observation tomorrow again and we can discuss it till then. Okay. Bhaiya.